Do you remember the first time you met Adam Sandler? Uh, yeah, very, very well. Um, I was at NYU and um, I, I had known him in the dorm because he used to do stand up at we had a thing called the coffee shop, the coffee house. It was like a variety show and I had seen him and, and it's, it's the Britney dorm, small dorm in Manhattan. Um, and I only knew him just as, hey, that's Adam Sandler. And, um, and my roommate said, hey, Adam wants to hang out with us tonight. I go, oh, that's cool. He seems pretty cool. And him and Tim, and Tim is Tim Hurley who wrote a bunch of my movies and Ad, uh, most of Adam's movies. Um, so we hung out and we went out and had a typical college night of, uh, you know, drinking and whatever. And, and uh, we lived in, um, it, was, it was New York, right? So we lived in this hotel, it was our dorm room. And we were five to a room. So what would happen is if you got home really late and your roommates were sleeping, we had these giant, luckily we had these giant closets, like, like literally like walk-in closets from an old hotel. So it was a pretty common thing to, if you're up late, keep the lights out, go in the, the, the closet with your friends. So we all had a great night of fun, made each other laugh all night and sat in the closet all night and just made each other laugh. And it's funny because when I was in high school, I, I, I had a best friend that we had all these sort of like funny sounds and noises we make. And I remember thinking, all right, I'm off to college. That fun's going to be over, but I'll find a new kind of fun. And then sure enough, my freshman year, I meet Adam and Tim and my roommate, Jack Arpito, who produced my movies. And uh, there we are kind of doing what you do in college, smoking some weed and making each other laugh and, uh, and making bizarre noises. <laughs> and uh, that was just the beginning of us saying, man, we're going to live. We're, we said we'd live next to each other every year across the hall. And we did. And and then we're like, we kept coming up with funny ideas and we would write comedy songs. And I was in film school and I would come up with funny ideas and Adam would be in my short films. And so we just started our collaborative uh, creative process way back then. Yeah, Adam would do stand up. By the senior year, he's doing stand up like six nights a week. So we would always go and sort of be a bouncing board, a creative bouncing board. And it was fascinating to see him go up on, the thing about stand up is people go up over and over to the point where you're just bored of doing it. But you go up sometimes with a half-baked idea and just to see what you get back, you get kind of brave as a stand-up. And uh, it would be interesting to see some stupid idea that we thought, oh my God, that tanked. And two, three weeks later, it would be the main part of his act, you know, like Elvis in the fridge or, or like some really surreal stuff. Um, so yeah, it was fun to be part of that sort of coming up with his sort of brand. It was kind of our brand of comedy, which we, eventually brought to some of the movies that we did together. Do you remember any of the TV shows or films that you would maybe watch together or just say, we want to do stuff like this? The, the funny thing is I was like, we always, I went to NYU thinking, I just want to do little art, weird, out there movies. And Adam was great because he, those are the movies he would love to go to see with me. Like Basquiat, he loved, like all these little, Indies were the ones that he responds to. It's funny, he, he would go see a lot of comedies and he would get bored and walk out. <laughs> Even though he wanted to do comedies and I'm like, oh, I want to do these kind of like cool, edgy, push the envelope. And uh, um, yeah, so I, I just remember more of like, you know, like we saw Blue Velvet and it was like nothing else we'd seen. I think what attracted me and, and him is, is seeing movies that tonally did things. That's the thing about a movie that you can create that you, that's hard to do in a book or other mediums, um, I guess now you can do on TV, is create a different tone. I think like Quentin Tarantino's success is he mixed violence with comedy in a way nobody had at the time. And his tone is very different. And, and it's, that's, you know, when you think of just straight dramas, they start to become very similar. But once you start to get into either, you know, comedy is usually where it becomes more about the tone. Uh, you know, there's a million different kinds of comedies and, and, and some could be dark and some could be satirical and some could be, you know, just every version. Some could just be really in your face, stupid and slapstick. Um, and you start to realize, I, 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 at first I was like critical, like, I don't want to do comedy. I don't want to do comedy. And then the more I was analyzing what I was doing and seeing movies, I realized so much of it is tone and then so much you can affect tone with irony and, and all these things that have to do with humor. Um, I had a moment where I was like looking at my dog one day, I was kind of stoned and, uh, and I was thinking, <laughs> it's my dog. I can, I can, he gets, he gets happy. He gets sad. 
He he can uh, he, I can scare him, um, but I can't make him laugh. I jump around the corner. I do something, and he would just never. And, and I'm like, well, he definitely can't get irony. So I, at that point, it was when I was first making. I was somewhere around the wedding singer Water Boy, and I was being a little critical of like oh, I didn't want to make comedies. I had this revelation that. I go, well, what other animals laugh? And then I was like, well, dolphins, I guess, kind of laugh, and like monkeys and gorillas, and I'm like, and humans. And I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be so critical that I'm making comedies because it takes intelligence to understand humor. Not to take anything away from a drama, but there's more levels of nuance and uh, subtlety uh, that go into comedy. So I feel better now that I've made comedies, even though my most recent movie is more of a drama. (laughs) 